Hey guys, it's Slim and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So today is gonna be my March favorites, products that I have been loving for the month of March. So let's just jump straight into it. So the first product that I've been absolutely loving since I discovered it in March is the KVD Beauty Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. This sold out in like seconds. It's been all the rave everywhere on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube everywhere and I feel like it is just hard to get a hold of this foundation at the moment. I did a completely entire review on this foundation so you can go check it out after this video if you want to know a little bit more about it but it's so good. I'm wearing it right now as well. It just makes your skin look so perfected, so smooth looking, so flawless. It's very, very full coverage with just a small amount um, and I just absolutely love it. I love the shade as well. This is in light 008. And I just love, love, love this foundation since I discovered it. And I can understand why it is so hyped. It's definitely worth the hype, definitely worth the money. Um, and it feels so lightweight on the skin. I think if you're looking for a full coverage foundation or you're looking for a cream foundation, you're gonna absolutely love this one. The only thing I will say about it, as you saw in the clips, is it does get a little bit dirty because if you go in with your brush or you leave it out, you know, little dust particles or things like that can just go into the product easily and it can get dirty really quickly. That's the only thing because it is a cream. But I've been loving that. And another thing that I've been loving as well, which I discovered, surprise, surprise, the Morphe 2 Hide and Peak Concealer. I also did a dedicated video testing out this concealer. It's a new one from them and it is so good. It's basically the concealer version of their Hint Hint Skin Tint and I absolutely love it. I think it gives you really good coverage but still lets your skin look natural and peek through. It gives you like this second skin kind of finish. It's not a full coverage concealer but it's not super sheer either and it also gives you a really nice radiant finish underneath the eyes. It's a little bit luminous as well. I think it's going to be the perfect summer concealer. Mine is in the shade Peak of Vanilla and I really like the tone as well. It is a lot more yellowy. They have a, a good range of shades to choose from but I just absolutely love how thin and lightweight it is. Super, super, super comfortable um, on the skin and yeah it just shears out to a really nice beautiful finish and covers so I absolutely love this one definitely would recommend definitely would recommend it on top of any foundation whether you use a cream foundation or liquid foundation it's just very very skin like but still gives the coverage now this next product is no surprise to anyone it is the MAC black cherry extra dimension blusher in the shade dilly dolly I bought two if you guys saw the black cherry collection video I did I bought two blushes this one and the peachy one but I really fell in love with the pinky one and I've been using it like non-stop on my cheeks as you can see this is the pinky blush that I have it also acts as a highlighter because it is like a blush slash highlighter in one but it's not super shimmery where it's just gonna look like a highlight it still gives you the blush color as well like the pigment but it still gives you the glow i absolutely love this so much i'm thinking of getting a backup because i love it that much and yeah dilly dolly is a beautiful one let me just grab the peach one so i can show you that as well this one honestly is like my favorite as well i absolutely love it this is the peachy one so you can decide for yourself whether you're someone who likes more peachy blushes or pinky blushes which one you would go for but yeah this is the shade look don't touch and then we have the dilly dolly which has been like my absolute favorite so i absolutely love it i did apply a little bit of a different highlight on top so it's not as shimmery as this but it, i mean you can check out the video it's a beautiful beautiful blush slash highlighter and also going along with the black cherry um collection i also fell in love with this lipstick from the collection which again packaging is beautiful but this is the shade drama rama and it is a beautiful vibrant neon hot fuchsia pink and it's what I have on my lips right now I've worn it in a couple of my videos and I just can't get enough of this shade I think it is so fun it's so bright very very summer appropriate um, if you like bright lipsticks you will absolutely love this one it's still wearable I feel like um, and I feel like it's gonna suit a lot of skin tones as well it's also a matte I absolutely love it it's really 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 pretty and those are the ones that really stood out to me from the black cherry collection so yeah that 
that one's again drama rama i think the collection is pretty much sold out i'm not sure but i'll leave a link down below for you guys to check it out so i've been loving two more lip products and they are both peachy shades again it's spring and i love wearing like a peachy lip and peachy eye look when it's spring i don't know why it's just my vibe um and i've been loving these two so this one is the sephora lip cream in number 74 i'll have the name on the screen i love these sephora lip creams honestly so much i feel like it's just one of the best lip products ever on the market because they're so comfortable so lightweight so thin feeling and they're not super matte either and they just give you that kind of lip souffle um soft look to the lips it's not going to look like a drying liquid lipstick so this one's a beautiful peachy uh, light coral shade perfect for spring and if you are a little bit darker than me you can use a darker lip liner and then feather it in and then put this in the center and it will be the most perfect peachy ombre lip so yeah absolutely gorgeous shade absolutely love this and the formula to die for i have so many shades of the sephora lip creams and one that i recently discovered as well is the nyx suede no not suede sorry shout loud satin lipsticks they're satin uh finishes has a cute little heart it's a beautiful peachy shade as well very very creamy this one isn't as peach as the sephora it's a little more on the kind of nudey peachy side has a little more brown to it as well it's not as you know bright peach so this one's a little more wearable if you're if you want to go for a peachy nude lip again same concept you can just do the dark lip liner feather this in and it will be a beautiful ombre so that again is a really really nice spring shade or just all year round shade but i really like the formula of it because it feels super comfortable not too creamy but not too matte it's not slippery it's gonna still last long um it's a great long wearing lipstick if you're looking for a lipstick and not a liquid lipstick then you can go for this one the shout loud satin lipstick moving on into another discovery that i made in march the ColourPop cream gel colors these are like cream gel liners you can use them pretty much for anything but these are amazing so i have two shades here two fun shades i have sour candy which is a very uh, nice neon coral it's not really neon but like a bright coral peach and i'm definitely going to be doing a look with this so stay tuned and then we have spring day which i played with in my chit chat get ready with me and it is a beautiful bright aqua like pastel sky blue i don't even know what to call it but look how intense that is like intense so yeah i absolutely love these um for how creamy they are how they go on and they do not budge these are so 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 budge proof waterproof um they just yeah they're kind of hard to work with so you've got to be quick because once they go on the skin they dry down and it's so hard to get off unless you use like an oil makeup remover but they are super waterproof and transfer proof like they would not budge they're really really fun i think they all come in these sorts of like pastel fun colors um and they're just great even if you don't want to do like a super bold look with these you can just do a winged liner and i feel like that's just even better um than going full out but yeah you could even do just a simple blue winged liner like pastel moment same with the peach as well so i absolutely love them definitely want to get other shades and i recommend them for you guys if you like those sorts of colors and if you're looking for something like that so next moving on to another product that i've been loving i don't know if i mentioned this in a favorites before but i have been using this non-stop the essence blush it's called the blush and they have again a few shades to choose from but the one i really like is in the shade b fitting and it is a of course you guessed it nice mauvey pink purpley pink it has quite a bit of purple in there and i just absolutely love it it's a nice matte formula it's so affordable and it's such great quality my blush i feel like lasts really really long with this for how affordable it is it's great quality and i don't find that my blush fades throughout the day when i do use this blusher so yeah i do like to go a little bit heavy-handed with this um i like to go heavy-handed with my blushes anyway but this is a beautiful formula and beautiful shades and i think if you're looking for a nice uh, drugstore affordable blusher then don't sleep on the essence blushes trust me and yeah they have really really nice shades so again be fitting is like a really really nice mauve everyday pink 
it's just perfect for every day and it's matte so then you can you don't have to worry about it being so shimmery and then you can go in with a nice highlighter on top so yeah let me know if you guys have tried the blushes from essence absolutely love them so yeah recommend them moving on into the next thing lashes are you guys surprised one uh brand that really 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 stood out to me were these lashes and it's from hh beauty london it's a small owned business black owned business and i encourage you guys to support it support your small businesses local businesses and yeah i absolutely love these lashes honestly i never Never found lashes to really really work for me but these have a super super thin and comfortable band where it's just it looks like your natural lashes it looks like your lashes and it's just it's super comfortable it goes on super easy one of the styles that I've been loving is this one which is called Celine and it's more of a natural lash it's a nice small but wispy fluffy lash I think it's perfect if you have smaller eyes as well or if you like a smaller lash like myself you don't like anything too dramatic these are absolutely to die die for um, and you can see how thin the band is and also the packaging is super cute so I've been loving the Celine lashes and also this is more of a dramatic lash this is in the style pixie dust and it's just a lot more wispy a lot more fluffy it flares out on the corners as well which is going to give you that beautiful cat eye effect of course you can cut them down as well to fit your eye shape but yeah i've been loving them because they're super comfortable and thin and they just look so high end absolutely love them so i would definitely recommend them i'll leave a link down below for you guys to check them out so yeah um, love 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 these lashes and I definitely want to get more styles so now moving on into skincare I want to thank 4-5 skin for sponsoring this portion of the video so I want to show you guys a few skincare products from them that I have been absolutely loving and I did just receive them and I started using them about a week ago and I absolutely love 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 the product so they have a few different sets on their website which you guys can go and check out i'll leave a link down below as well but i decided to pick up the hydration set as you guys know i do have a dry skin so anything that's nourishing moisturizing and hydrating i'm all for so yeah i picked up the hydration set but they do have other ones they have a acne set so if you have acne prone skin and pigmentation as well if you st struggle with that then they do have that as well so it does come with a cleanser a toner and a moisturizer and i've been absolutely loving all three of them and also you can custom create the skincare so you can basically tell them if you want fragrance in it or no fragrance and also what type of skin you have and all of these products as well have a date on it because they are freshly made so you do have to use it by the date mine expires in september which it'll be gone by then so the first one that i've been loving is the 456 come clean cleansing oil i love cleansing oils because i feel like it just breaks down the makeup really really nicely and if you do have dry skin you want to go in with a cleansing oil because it's gonna further nourish the skin and feel hydrating it removes impurities like i said it also nourishes the skin and it feels super super soft um afterwards when you do use it your skin just feels so soft and so supple and it just looks really really nice and clean and it doesn't strip you of your natural oils so i've been loving that one and then also they do have the toner which i haven't used that much just yet so i need to play around with it a little bit more and this is the tonic o treatment lotion and it's basically a toner it's going to add glow and radiance but it's also going to even out the skin as well and balance the skin it's great if you have combination skin as well and then last but not least the moisturizer oh my god this one i've been using non-stop as you can see i have been using the moisturizer non-stop and it is just a very 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 comfortable formula it's not too thick but it's not too thin either and it is so moisturizing it is so rich and so creamy and it just soaks everything up if you have really really dry skin even normal skin you will absolutely love this moisturizer like this is amazing but the interesting thing about it is this is called the day hack matte moisturizer and it's basically a matte finish a great thing about it as well is that they say this can be used as a makeup primer so you guys know i'm gonna have to test that in a video and use it as an actual primer underneath my makeup so yeah it can be used as a makeup primer and as a moisturizer but it still keeps the skin matte but not matte in a drying way of course because it's a moisturizer it's just not going to give you like a super 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 dewy finish which i like because a lot of moisturizers give you a dewy finish so having a matte moisturizer is very very different and unique and this one has been my favorite because it's super nourishing and it just gives you that intense hydration if you guys want to check them out i'll have a link down below so you can go straight to the website and have a little look around for what you think will suit your skin best and another skincare product that i've been loving is the garnier rose soothing glow hydrating mist and i mentioned this a while back and 
this oh my god it lasts a long time i don't use it every single day i just use it on days where i feel like my skin feels super thirsty it's a super hydrating and nourishing glowy spray and this can be used underneath makeup on top of makeup you can use it as a setting spray you can use it alone just throughout the day even if you feel really hot and your skin is a little bit red if you maybe flare up as well this is just gonna soothe the skin because it does have um rose water which is known to be very soothing even if you don't have dry skin and you have oily skin or normal or combination it's just great to give you that dewy finish and it's kind of like the mac fix plus very similar to that so yeah i definitely love it it's definitely more of a of course skincare spray it's not a makeup spray but you can use it for makeup as well and it's a vegan formula and it even says here dry and sensitive skin so if you have sensitive skin this will be amazing for you it's not going to irritate your skin it's just going to feel really nice and calming and soothing and cooling on the skin so i've been loving this one um to incorporate into my skincare routine and also into my makeup routine as well so i would definitely recommend it amazing stuff and i think that is it for my march favorites so i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you have been loving currently whether it's makeup or skincare or any other beauty product or just in general what you've been loving so leave me some comments down below i'll chat back with you and i hope everyone is staying safe so until next time i'll speak to you guys all in my next video